Hello and welcome to Yoga and Fitness. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be doing a beginner's yoga flow. So when I say beginner, I really mean it. So this could be like the first class you ever tried with yoga. So today you're not going to need much. In fact, you don't really need anything. But if you can get a little blanket, that would be great. Also, as you can see behind me, I've got a couple of blocks as well, so they may come in handy too. So if you can get those items together, let's do so now, and I will join you at the back of our yoga mats in child's pose. Here in your child's pose, arms outstretched in front of you and your palms facing down. Release and relax your neck, allowing your forehead to come down to the ground, resting gently on your yoga mat. Close your eyes. Begin to lengthen and deepen the breath, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhalation. Check in with yourself. Are you holding any tension in your eyebrows, in your face, in your jawline? Take a deep, expansive inhalation, filling your lungs. And with that exhalation, just let it go. Any tension you may be holding anywhere in your face or body. Allow yourself to just melt downwards into your mat. I invite you now just to set an intention for the class. Let's take a moment just to visualize whatever that may be for you, for each of us. And draw it into our present reality. Let's all take one more deep breath in together. And as you exhale, let's slowly come back up to a seated position, sitting on our heels. Shoulders back relaxed. Chest lifted, chin lifted, look forward. Hands rested on your thighs. Spine nice and straight. We're going to do some seated cat cows. So as we inhale, push your chest forward. Gently lift the chin, shoulders back. And as you exhale, round out through the spine. Push your spine out behind you, drop your head and neck, chin comes down. Inhale, repeat. Coming forward, inflating your chest as you inhale, lift your chin up just slightly more this time, creating even more of an arch through the spine. And exhale, push that sp spine out down behind you, drop the head and neck. Inhale, come forward, inflate the lungs. One more time each side. And exhale, roll forward. Inhale, straighten up. And let's take our blankets. So placing our blankets just down in front of us, this is gonna be for our knees just as a little bit of added protection. 
come forward, bringing your knees down onto your blanket. You want the knees to be underneath the hip. You want the hands to be underneath the shoulder. So we have now a tabletop foundation. Keep the spine nice and neutralized. And when I say that, what I mean is from the crown of your head to the base of your spine, you're creating one straight line. So we're gonna continue what we were just doing, cat cows, but in our tabletop foundation. So beginning from a neutral spine, we're gonna begin on an inhale as we drop the belly, lift the chest, bring those shoulders back and look forward. Exhale, drop the head and neck, roll through the spine and lift up towards the ceiling as we move to cat. Inhale, coming into cow, drop that belly, look forward, chest lifted, shoulders back. And let's take one more each side. Exhale, lifting to cat, drop that head and neck. And moving into cow, just for one breath in, fill the lungs. Exhale, neutralize the spine. And come up and on to your knees. We're gonna step forward with the left foot. We wanna keep our hips in balance, facing forward. Let's inhale as we lift up both arms. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here. Really push out through the hips as well. So we want our pelvic bowl to be tilted just slightly forward so that we are not extended through the lower back. One more deep breath in here together. And as we exhale, slowly bring the hands down either side of that front left foot. Step that left knee back and push yourself down into a child's pose. We're gonna just take one deep breath in from our child's pose here. And as we exhale, lifting back up onto those knees and stepping forward with the right foot. Again, we want our hips balanced, facing forward, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, lift through the arms, fill your lungs. We want to keep our core engaged as well. Everything that we do requires an engaged core. This is the central part of the body. This is what keeps us in balance. One more deep breath in. And as we exhale, hands down. Bring that right knee back down beside the left. Hands down beneath the shoulder blades, bending just slightly into those elbows. Turl, curl your back toes around. And as you exhale, begin to lift, lengthen and straighten those legs. We're coming now into a downward facing dog. So here in our downward facing dog, if you cannot bring your heels down to the ground, just put a bend into those legs so that the upper body is straight. Bring those heels down as much as you can. And let's just begin by warming up our legs by lifting one heel and then the other, something we called walking the dog. Mm. 
On the next inhalation, let's bring both of those heels down and begin to walk up the central line of your yoga mat. Walking your way up towards the hands. When you make it up to the front, bring your feet side by side. Take a deep breath in as we halfway lift, straightening your back. Again, keeping that line from the crown of the head to the base of the spine. And as we exhale, forward fold. Again, if your hands cannot touch the ground, no worries. Just put that bend into the legs and bring yourself a bit closer so that you can touch the floor. Drop the head and neck and allow the upper body just to hang down. So try to release any tension you may be holding in the neck so that your head can hang down and bring the rest of your upper body with it using gravity to decompress the spine. Keep those breaths deep. And most importantly, don't forget to breathe at all. It can be easily done when we're holding our yoga poses. We're so focused on what we're doing, we actually forget to breathe. One more deep breath in here. And as we exhale, let's slowly roll through the spine, come up to standing. Bring your arms with you as you inhale them up to the ceiling, dropping the head just slightly back as you lift your chin. Exhale, bring your hands into prayer, drop the hands to heart. Holding here just for one inhale. And as we exhale, drop your hands down by your side, moving into mountain pose. Engage your core, tilt your pelvic bowl forwards. And even though it is a standing position, our whole body is working to hold this posture. Relax the shoulders, chin lifted, look forward. Inhale, fill the lungs. Lift your arms up above the head. And as you exhale, slowly come down, forward fold. Again, bending into those legs is order to bring your hands down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale. Slowly step your left leg back, then the right, and come into high plank. If you're struggling in a high plank, bring your knees down and hold this pose instead. If you can join me in high plank, take a deep breath here, fill the lungs, and as you exhale, bring the knees down, chest down and pull yourself forward moving into an upward facing dog or sphinx pose here in our sphinx we want our shoulders back we want to be looking forward chin slightly lifted and reaching up through the elbows with that elbow to floor connection. Let's take one more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly come down, bring your hands beneath your shoulders and lift yourself back and into your child's pose. Pushing yourselves back down on onto those heels. Just one deep breath here in our child's pose. And as we exhale, let's roll back out, coming onto our heels, returning to a seated position. Inhale through the arms. And exhale as we bring the left hand down beside us. 
bring your right fingertips down onto your head and gently bring your head across to the right side. Release any tension in your neck, jawline or shoulders as you allow the weight of your head to be the driving force of the stretch. Close your eyes here if it helps to relax and just focus inward on your breathing. Again, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhalation. Release that head to fingertip connection and lift your right hand up to the sky. Bring your head back to center and drop your right fingertips down to the side of your body, lifting the left arm up. Gently bringing those left fingertips down onto the crown of your head and allowing your head to fall to the left side. On the next inhalation, let's lift that left arm back up to the ceiling. Follow with the right arm. Inhale, fill your lungs and exhale. Gently start to bring those shoulders, arms back. As you lift your chin, look up and take a very gentle back bend. Let's come back to center. Bring your hands to heart. Well done guys, this was just a little introduction to yoga. So if you are enjoying this and wish to expand your practice, there are plenty of other classes that I have on offer as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a beautiful day, namaste. And just one more thing, if you do enjoy the classes and wish to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And there is that donation link below as well if you wish to do just a little bit more for the channel. So thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. Namaste.